I'm Abigail Michael Okolo, a nurse by profession, currently working with Kaduna State Primary Healthcare Board, currently a fellow. Click on Kaduna Data Science Fellowship. So my DSFP experience has been wonderful. Um, I, have, I have met a lot of people and I have learned a lot, so it's just been a priceless experience so far. My biggest takeaway for the fellowship actually, um, I can uh, say maybe there are two to three, and uh, the first one is how, you know, how contemporary and robust the curriculum is. And number two is um, actually you are being paid while you also learn. So you actually learn and then you get paid. This is uh, something that, uh, this is a model that I've not seen anywhere in the country. So these two things actually stand out for me. My biggest takeaway from the DSFP 3.0, apart from my skills and capabilities and the certificate, would be the community of people that I have access to, the tutors, my colleagues. Um, it just helps me keep a community that keeps me accountable to the goals which I set for myself and the achievements I want to have in the nearest future. Being in the same space with a tech enthusiast and then our tutors who are like leaders in the industry have practical knowledge on data science, data analysis. It was an interactive one. All our questions were adequately answered. You know, we had instructors and co-instructors who went through, we provided clarity to every fellow who, you know, because of study, didn't get a particular concept. First three months, I had a very good learning environment from, the, from our tutors to the fellows. It was really easy understanding because I had um, people from different sector and people that were ready to guide me to understand the data science. For the fieldwork experience, I would say I was an integral part of the team that did the whole data collection and analysis where we actually tracked and analyzed citizen perceptions as regards drugs, availability and affordability in primary health care centers. It was a really wonderful experience because it will actually help the state and relevant stakeholders in decision making. Our impact at the field work um, it has been great because we've been able to create a baseline where the people, the staff already, already uh, people already in the board are trying to have emulated what we've done so far in cases of how we take into cognizance data ethics, data management, data entry, all the principles as regards to data management. They've seen us put it into practice and they, are, they have already taken the, the initiative and gone along with our flow. This program has actually made my role to be better in the civil servant because, you know, uh, when it comes to data collection, just as I've said, I'm from Kaduna State Bureau of Statistics. Kaduna State Bureau of Statistics are responsible for official statistics that has to do with uh, administration, administrative statistics, and then uh, data, routine data collection. So uh, this has actually exposed me in times of the statistical packages used that you know ensure a better and standard you know statistics uh, data collection. My significant impact to the Kaduna State Government in terms of uh, public health related with respect to HEFA is actually helping the government analyze loopholes and weaknesses in the health facility infrastructures across the state. As a woman coming into the DSFP, I was marveled by the number of women that I saw into, in the program. It turns out that um, there was a quota for women that was allocated prior to the DSFP program and it was made sure to be filled by women. And as a woman, it makes me happy because that is giving women a platform to be in tech, to be in STEM and just do things that was never taught women to do. Just by being in the space with you know, um, seasoned professionals, it has helped my communication skills in the area of data science and data analysis and which translates to 
um, helping my negotiation skills when it comes to trying to convince clients of your, uh, your ability to perform. Uh, this defense has really supported my journey because I do not have to have a divided attention um, due to financial constraints. I was able to focus and also use the data to learn to get more resources out of class. I'm very passionate about SDG3, that is good health and well-being. So in the next five years, I actually see myself being an integral part of data, providing data-driven solutions to actually support both people. DSFP has um, really done a good job in ensuring that they, uh, they carry out inclusion. There is no disparity in what a female can do and what a male can do. Um, they've taken everybody along and they also, I've noticed that they also take into cognizance whether you have disabilities or any other thing. They don't underrate anybody as long as they feel everybody should have equal opportunities to learn irrespective of whether or not you had even a background, irrespective of your social background, your educational background, they're taking everybody. In the next five years, um, I will be strong in my skills so much so that I would be able to say I am a data engineer and um, a genomic um, specialist or analyst, something like that. That's where I see myself in the next five years, apart from doing my PhD. So. I've been able to explain following the USFP program and attract better opportunities for myself. And currently, I gained an opportunity to work with Clinton Health Access Initiative Child. Yes, I would like to appreciate the organizers of this program. I cannot appreciate them a lot because, you know, they have done tremendously well, particularly in my own career. I will start from the funders, the people that actually, the organization that funded this program, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Nadu Foundation, the Cardinal State Bureau of Statistics, the Cardinal State Government, which is the main platform that allowed this to happen. I'd like to say thank you to Malam Yaqub Abdelmalik for being there every day before us and for leaving late after everyone else, else has left. Honest to God, I am proud of the work that you guys do. The selflessness, the support, the care, it's always there. and. Really, just thank you for everything.